So, now that the Phantom Assignment, well, the Phantom Bow, has now been found, been released into the wild, people have figured out how to get through that elevator, through that force field, and into the room to unlock the Phantom Bow. The amount of questions that I've been getting over the last few days, though, is extremely high, because it seems that people haven't got access to the bow yet because they haven't completed the Phantom Assignments. Now, that's something that I had to do as well. I had to grind my way through three stages of assignments to even get anywhere near unlocking the bow. And because I'm a really nice guy and I like helping people, I thought I'd put together a mini-series showing you guys the best way that you can tackle these three Phantom Assignments. So over the next few days, I'm going to be releasing videos for each of those assignments, and then I'll release a video at the end showing you how to get into that room. But without further ado, let's look at the first assignment, the Phantom Prospect. Now before you even launch the game, there is one blockade in your way. The only way you can access these assignments is if you have Battlefield 4 Premium. And that has pissed off a lot of people, understandably. A lot of people want access to this really exclusive bow weapon thing. And for that, you need Premium. That's the whole point of Premium. That's how EA are selling it. Not a lot of people like it. I don't particularly like having to pay extra on top of the price of a base game. But that's just the way the world is right now. DLCs are paid for. So if you don't have Battlefield 4 Premium and you do want access to this bow, you're willing to go through those assignments, you're going to need to buy Premium. But back to the assignment. You need 200 assault rifle kills, 200 kills in main battle tanks, and you need a total of 300 meter headshot. That sounds a little bit weird, the last one. We'll explain that one first of all. It doesn't mean that you need to get one 300 meter headshot. That would be very, very unlikely. If you had to get 300 on the dot, that would be very difficult. All you need to do is total 300 meters worth of headshots grouped together. So you could get a 75 meter headshot and a 225 meter headshot and there's your 300. So you just need to get 300 meters worth of headshots to do that part of it. Just worth explaining because a couple of people didn't quite get that bit. The other two stages might seem fairly easy and the 200 assault rifle kills I don't think should be any trouble for anybody. All you really need to do is just play the game as you normally would, play it with the assault kit with your Ace 23 M416, something like that and you're going to unlock that very quickly. Where I came unstuck, and I think where a lot of people came unstuck as well, is the main battle tank kills. Now, Battlefield has always featured tanks. It's just one of those main parts of a Battlefield game that you expect to have an MBT in it. Well, the military side of Battlefield anyway. Upcoming Hardline game doesn't have MBTs in it, which has annoyed a few people, but there we go. You do need to get those 200 kills. There are a couple of ways you can do it. And all you need to do is get the kills with the tank. So you can utilise it in a few different ways. You don't have to be the driver. You don't have to get the kills with the main cannon. You can use the gunner position in the tank as well. So if you don't like driving round tanks and you're willing to sit around and have someone else drive you around like a taxi service and you pick off infantry, you do have that option. But what's the easiest way to get those 200 kills? Well, with being a premium member, you have access to all these lovely 20 new maps. So there are lots of different ways that you could approach this, but I would suggest joining a Conquest large server, preferably with a large amount of tickets, because you're going to want to try and get as many kills as you can in one game, so you're not dragging this out for too long, because it can take a while. Now, I gravitated towards Silk Road, simply because... That is probably the biggest all-out conquest map available in Battlefield 4. There's always a lot of tanks spawning. I believe each side has four tanks in its deployment. And on one flag on each side of conquest, you have a tank that spawns at that flag as well. So your team can have anywhere from one to five tanks on the map at any one time. And obviously they're being destroyed all the time. So you do have a chance of getting one fairly easily. Now, there are certain points on the map that you're going to want to aim for. You always want the higher ground when it comes to a tank so you can rain down hell on people below you. Roughly, it took me around four hours to get all of these tank kills. First of all, because I don't tend to use tanks very much. I'm not a very good vehicle player. But by the end of my four hours, I've become a lot more aware of just how much skill it can take to be a tank pilot. Because you haven't just got to worry about people on the ground in front of you, other ground vehicles, tanks, C4 dirt bikes as is the case on Silk Road. You've got 
infantry engineers with rocket launchers, you've got anti-tank mines, you've got the anti-air missiles from LAVs, you've got air vehicles like jets, the bomber, helicopters, there's so much for you to watch out for as a tank because you're a very big target. You do have a lot of power behind you, but a lot of people want to kill you as well and get you out of the way because you do present a large threat. So you do have to pay attention to what's going on around you all of the time. And I found sticking with those medium to longer range tank battles with ground vehicles only is probably the best way to go. If a helicopter's flying by, maybe you could get a lucky shot. I did get quite a few helicopter shots whilst I was grinding for this. I didn't record all of the footage, which is a shame, so I could have just said that and it not be true, but trust me, it does get easier and easier to hit those helicopter and jet shots once you start to do them regularly. Overall, make sure that you're aiming for those ground targets. Always use the main cannon when you can because it deals out the most amount of damage. If you are in the gunner position, make sure you're looking 360 all the time, watching out for those sneaky engineers coming up behind you, trying to repair till you get you an RPG in the rear of the tank, does more damage. You've always got to watch out for them. But once you've completed those 200 kills, you're presented with this, the Phantom Prospect dog tag. And this is one of the main things you're going to need to be able to get inside that elevator on Hangar 21. Make sure you equip it, it's a cool little dog tag, it's rather exclusive. But once you do equip it, don't take it off because you're going to need it later on in these assignments. But that's the end of this assignment, we're going to be taking a look at the Phantom Trainee assignment which is coming up in the next episode. I'll try and get that up for you tomorrow, if not on Thursday. I'm going to try and get these up in quick succession so you guys can get towards getting the bow as quickly as possible. I really think it's worth doing, it teaches you a lot about Battlefield and it gets you to play in some playstyles that you're not really very comfortable with. But thank you very much for watching, if you could leave a rating that would be great, and leave some comments down below too. But until next time, my name is Westy, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.